Hey folks, it's Kikoskia here, just letting you know that this video contains scenes that may not be suitable for people who suffer from epilepsy. Please keep this in mind if you intend to watch the video. And now, onward to our doom! Well, hopefully not, but you know how these games go. They're full of doom. It's in the name. Welcome back, folks. And let's replay Doom 3 the BFG edition. And wait, last we left off, we have arrived here in Mars City and almost immediately been ordered to go and see Sergeant Kelly because we have an urgent assignment that we need to do. There's a big onus on you rushing to get there, but with the game being event driven, we can take as long as we like, and that's exactly what we'll do. For there is much to see here in Mars City. Well, there's a lot to see in the small areas that you have access to, which are very cramped, which makes sense considering the fact that the surface of Mars is a rather hostile place, so they want to get as much as they can into the places that they've built. Let's start by going this way, to this door. Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Move along. How do you know that at just a glance? I might. Oh, I suppose that beep would tell you. I can't help you here. Head to Marine Command. They can help you. Okay, can I have your awesome helmet? If you don't move out now, they're gonna bust both our asses. But, but I want your helmet! God damn it, Marine. Get out of here! Can I have the gun instead? If you don't move out now, they're gonna bust both our asses. I'll take that as a no. Fair enough, let's just keep moving, shall we? One thing that was mentioned when this version of the game came out was that there were autosaves that occurred that took a long time. Now with the advent of SSD drives, it's not really a problem, but something to consider. Ooh, terminals. Ooh, flickery lights. There are going to be a lot of those, I imagine. Hello. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Lost? Try not to let this place get in your head. Just stay focused on your job. You'll be back on Earth before you know it. Wait, lost? There's not a lot to do around here. But watch your back. Why? Try not to let this place get in your head. Why are people telling Just me to watch my back? Job. Oh look, it's a toilet. You know it. Also, there's us with our fists there, ready to fight. Well, there's nobody to fight, but nice to know that we're ready. Also, a uh, critical thing for any toilet. Cleaning facilities. And another one of these diet drinks. It sounds like whispering is coming from this toilet. Ooh, they have two things of toilet roll. This place truly is luxurious. Also, magazines. And your rhinos. It's unlocked. Good. Can I use this? No, I can't. Must be broken. We can go this way. That's command access. Or we could go to the kitchen. Hey. I can't read that, but... That looks like it's really important. First now, the Miller, you hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, they said he just lost it. Shipped home this week. We lose one, gain another. No shit. I wonder who they're gonna move to Bravo team now. Who knows, I just hope they don't take anyone from my squad. I hate pulling double shifts. I hear ya. Hmm, that sounds worrying. Another newbie. Welcome to the worst assignment you'll ever have. Well, that's encouraging. Come back for a drink when you get some free time. <coughs> if if I get some? This place is always open if you want to come by and forget. Forget what? Another replacement, huh? Yeah. Listen up, newbie. I'll give you some advice. Keep your eyes open and stay focused. Everyone keeps telling me to do that. Yeah, I see people come and go around here all the time. I wonder how long you'll last. Hopefully a while. Also, nice view out there. Ooh, look at that later. Outside the orbit of Sedna, the probe is set to resume its outer system mapping mission next week. Interesting. Following further scans of the fluctuating anomaly, faint signals continue to be received from the failed Europa orbiter, which is said to be further evidence of survivors in Thursday's crash. 
Union Aerospace, who funded the privately operated orbiter, stated that there were no survivors and the signal is part of the NAVCOM system's automated distress beacon. Mm. Critics of the massive corporation say the Europa signal is undeniably originating from one or more survivors, and the high costs of mounting a rescue operation have led to the UAC's refusal. In IPN's business news, Mixum Corporation has filed suit against rival company Moxin, <gasps> claiming the company infringed on several pressure seal patents utilized in planetary bases. Moxim lawyers have threatened a countersuit, saying that Mixum creates inferior parts based on original Moxim designs. Senate Majority Leaders this morning approved a nearly $80.2 trillion spending plan. The plan includes cuts in funding for the lunar outpost and several planetary platforms, mm. as well as major revisions to the public health care system. The plan also calls for cutting the budget deficit in half by 2147. Gentech firm Breutier met further resistance this week in its plans to introduce genetically manufactured health products on Earth. A long-time supplier to military and space sectors, genetically modified products have seen poor sales in the consumer market. Reutier's latest medkit technology was slated to hit stores next month. Ooh, medkits. For IPN News, this is Roger McKellen with Subspace News on the Hour. Interesting. Also, we have something in our PDA. Uh, here. Let's uh, listen to it. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernays, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Mm -hmm. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in that Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. Stories? I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. Three, nine, six. That is actually important to write because, uh, there are cabinets that you need to unlock, and having codes to unlock them is a good thing. Some of them are easy to find, some aren't. Also, there's a reference there in that logo. I'll let you be the one to figure out what it's referencing. Hello. Ah, someone new. It's always nice seeing new faces around here. Hello. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hello. Nice and friendly. Excellent. I've been here four years. And my advice is to work hard and stay out of trouble. Good advice. You want my advice? Don't go poking your nose around places you aren't supposed to. Reasonable advice? I've been here four years. And my advice is to work hard and stay out of trouble. All right. Let's look at the most important thing that's here. This. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. Yay! I loved Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 2. This looks even better. Let's go! Aha! We're punching turkeys! Fantastic! I wonder who put the money in this uh, game so that we could play. Either way, we can have huge amounts of fun. These turkeys won't know what hit them! Us! With our fist! Aha! How high can our score go? Very high! I love all these little bits of attention to detail in this game. Little things that didn't have to be added, but were. And it just, as I said before, works to build up the world get you more invested and drawn into it. And uh, this is just a very silly little thing uh, to try and distract you from the fact that things are clearly not right here. I mean, they're also clearly not right because you're playing Doom 3, but uh, you just don't know how they're not right. Also, I do like that this is a uh, homage to the original Doom games. Also, I, I can't read what's at the bottom there. Maybe they're 
character sheets or like, hey, this is how you play the game, or if you pick this person, your punch is even stronger. And all of this is done with the rest of the game running in the background. This screen is its own thing that you can interact with, and uh, we'll be using a lot of screens in this game. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher! Three. You know, in the 2016 Doom, I was hoping for a Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 4. I can't imagine my disappointment when I realized that it wasn't there. Also, we're getting 250 points now for every uh, turkey we punch. Well, sometimes, anyway. Maybe it's all to do with how fast we punch them. Either way, we're nearly up to 5,000 points, and that's a lot of points. Considering that we're meant to be going to see Sergeant Kelly, we're, we're really shirking our duties here. Just gonna keep punching. I don't know how many points we're uh, meant to get. I mean, we're up to 5,400 here. We're totally gonna get fired. We are absolutely going to get fired. But hey, at least we can say that we played Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3 on Mars! How many people can say that? Who knows? I'm going to go to 10,000 points. Seems like a good score. It also seems like we can get a lot more than 10,000 points. Where are the turkeys coming from? Why are there giant mutant turkeys? Why don't they defend themselves? All of these questions we will never get the answers to, but what we will get the answer to is how high our score can go. Marvelous. We're at 7,365 points. Gonna get to 10,000. Also love the, uh, the grin of the Doom guy there. I don't think it has the randomness that it does in the uh, original uh, Doom games, though. Like, it's a random um, thing that's pulled up for what um, expression Doom Guy has when uh, he isn't taking damage. So many little wonderful uh, things that are random in those games. We are about to get to 10,000 points! If only I could bring this thing with me! Also, it's made by Napcom. Also, if you look away from it, the uh, the sound actually um, quietens. There is a very interesting system in this game for how loud you hear things, all based on like where you are, where you're facing, and where the sound is as well. As I said before, though, the sound balancing is not fantastic in this game, but uh, hey, 10,000! Marvelous, uh, how are we doing? Uh, got any emails? Lost PDA. Ooh. Adam, please take more caution in securing your personal data assistant. It turned up in lost and found three times this month. As you know, your base security clearances are stored on that, and it becomes a serious security issue any time a PDA is lost. Failure to secure your PDA could eventually result in your termination. Ooh. That, that's, uh, that's worrying. Super. Well, let's Jersey keep punching. I don't know at what point you're meant to get a, uh, a email about Turkey uh, Puncher, because uh, you do get one eventually. You do get one. Basically saying, hey, you, congratulations on your high score, but considering the fact that you're wasting so much time, we're going to permanently reduce holidays, uh, your holiday allocation for this year. I mean, not that it's going to make much difference, but something to know that you can waste that much time. I'm very curious as to what score you have to get to, because we've got over 10,000 here. We've got to 11,000. And we still haven't got it. Is it like 15,000? 20,000? Either way, we should probably move now. We should probably keep going. Otherwise, Kenny really will fire us. Maybe I'll make a quick save so that I can get that uh, information at some point. Yeah, we'll save there. And carry on. So those suits arrived too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me, just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. 
But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was here one minute, gone the next. Lucky bastard. Hmm. Hello? I'm really trying to get this fixed quickly, so, uh, do you mind? Fair enough, I just want to know what you were talking about. If you can fix this, you can stay and help, but otherwise, get going. No, not really. Why are you bothering me? Can't you see that I'm working? Yes, but maybe you'll help me. Marine Command is right around the corner. Why don't you go bother someone there? I will do eventually. Listen, I'd love to talk, but I'm really busy. Yes, you're very busy watching that person work. What? Do I look like a tour director, Leatherneck? I mean, if you could give me a tour, that'd be great, but, uh, there's nothing back here. And now, he will watch him work, and then leave. Ooh, exciting volunteer positions are available now. Credit compensation offered for qualified individuals. Ooh, lovely. I like getting, uh, opportunities like that. Email, uh... Is it a uh, welcome message? Volunteer, there we go. Delta Labs is looking for individuals to fill critical positions. You can help with our exciting breakthrough work and earn credits at the same time. Volunteers are needed in the following areas. T teleportation? We're looking for test subjects to stress test the new teleporters. Experience tomorrow's travel technology today. Nothing could possibly go wrong there. Medical research. Our advanced pharmaceutical team needs volunteers to participate in exciting medical studies. Help us find cures to everything from the common cold to Ebola 7. Fair enough. Specimen handling. We need volunteers to help handle and trap specimens gathered through Delta Lab experiments. Health test and liability wave will be wait, wait, wait. What creatures? For more information about any of these opportunities or to post openings in your department, please contact, please see a HR coordinator. Wait, what? Uh, Hmm. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That, that's worrying. Also, we can't go that way. Darn it. And there's no way to go here, so we are being Attention. funneled. Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management Office 4 Alpha. Fair enough. We are still being funneled. Let's go. You need to report to Sergeant Kelly ASAP. He's in Command HQ. Fair enough. Don't waste any more time. Go see the Sarge. But I like wasting time. Sarge is gonna have your ass if you don't get the Command HQ pronto. I'm sure he's gonna be angry either way. If you're late reporting in, Sarge will have you patrolling outside for a week. Well, that's not good. So I wanna go that way. Let's go this way. What's the worst that could happen this way? I'm almost ready. Hold him down. Uh. Okay. He's sedated now. Uh, um. Hmm. That's, um, very worrying. I can't be interrupted now. I've got work to finish. What was that all about? Please don't disturb me. Can't you see I'm busy? Yes, but what was that all about? I'm doing very difficult work here. I can't be disturbed. Okay, fair enough. Can't get in here. Though all that stuff there looks pretty good. What if we go this way? Ooh. There. Can't go in there. I think that's another way into uh, Marine HQ. Also, hello. Also, we can run by holding shift. Oh, hello, patrolling person. Let's talk to you. Welcome to the unit. I'll see you around. Thank you. Hope you don't go crazy here, it like the others. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, I got a few things I need to do. So I'll catch up with you later. Wait, crazy? Hope you don't go crazy here. Like the uh Crazy? This is Delta Science Management. We would like to request another security team here in Delta. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to reconfigure this little guy. I can't talk now. Ooh, that little dog-like hey, robot thing? This is tricky business. I can't be hassled. Okay. If you need something, go talk to Sarge. All right. Hello, little thing. Ooh, lots of important things here. Don't you have some orders you need to be following? Yeah, but I'm ignoring them. I'm too busy to talk now. Fair enough. Got lots of work here. Sorry. 
Okay, I think most people on average have about three things they can say, so, uh, yeah, that leads back to that. So, let's go and find, uh, Kelly. Who's in here? Hmm. I mean, pretty safe place here. Hey, we're Take here. sweet time, Marine. Yep. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. Yay! I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. Pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. All right. And so, when we come back, folks, we have an objective. Where did that little robot go? The little robot's going to move forward and then be like, Hey, are you coming? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go later. It's like, hey, we got a place to be. I know we do, little robot, but uh, right now, I'm just uh, ending the video. Is that okay? I should probably move over here so that the uh, robot decides. Nope, the robot's like, hey, you, you were totally going to follow me, right? No, 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 you, you just stay there. And so, when we come back, folks, we're going to go and search for that scientist. In a minute, little robot. Hopefully, the scientist is fine, and we'll then continue our duties of patrolling corridors while nothing bad happens at- Oh, who are we kidding? Something bad's going to happen, isn't it? Yep, something bad's going to happen. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. <laughs> Look at those extra points that you can gain by punching pretty quickly! That's right, you can get a high score much faster if you unlock the Mad Pro Strats for Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. And we're nearly up to a very important point threshold, and that is 25,000 points. For once we get that, we'll get that uh, message that I talked about before. One that you really wouldn't want to get if you intend to work here for a long period of time, but that's, as I said, not really going to be that much of an issue. But it's still nice to see. Just a few more. There we go. If we, uh, now go and check our email, then maybe something new there. Let's see. There we are, HR Coordinator. Congratulations! You set a new high score in Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. Your parents can rest easier knowing they have raised another shining example of humanity. Due to the incredible amount of time you wasted punching poor defenseless turkeys, your vacation time has been docked two days. Have a nice day! Darn it! But it was fun! Was it worth it though? I'm sure it was! Also, ooh, magazine! Game Hog and Booty. Clearly, that one's talking about treasure, right? Also, a UAC uh, field guide. That's quite thick. Should I read it? Nah, I probably don't need the info in it. Hmm. Maybe I do. Nah, I won't bring it with me. Could throw it at someone, though, but why would I want to do that? It's not like I'm in any danger or anything. Hmm. And so, we'll be back to where I was before next time. Now, with two days less holiday! Woo! Oh. Oh. Later.